Alright, so hey guys, so welcome to another Warframe video, and today we're finally gonna take a quick look at Death Cube Prime and the weapon that comes with it, the Death Machine Rifle Prime. But first things first, let's check out the drop location. So the blueprint is a rare drop from the Lith D1 relic, the Cerebrum is a rare drop from the Meso D4 relic, the Carapace is an uncommon drop from the Neo T2 relic, and finally the systems are a common drop from the Axie P2 relic. When it comes to the stats, the Death Cube Prime comes in with 150 armor, 300 health and 100 shields. And the Death Machine Rifle Prime is, well, a sentinel weapon, which are generally not that strong, so it does very little damage per shot, though the majority of it still comes in in the form of Slash, a grand total of 6 damage there. It has pretty low status chance, a decently high fire rate, and the crit chance isn't actually too shabby, it's a 10% with a 2 times crit multiplier. Now the Death Cube Prime, or Death Cube in general, comes with three precepts, Swift Death, Vaporize, and Energy Generator. Swift Death is the basic attack precept, so it's what triggers the Sentinel to attack any nearby enemy within 30 meters. Vaporize will make you do 600 damage to an enemy within 30 meters, I'm sorry about the mod card on wiki isn't actually updated yet. An Energy Generator makes the Sentinel drop an Energy Orb right on top of you when it has assisted with 10 kills. Now two things about Vaporize is that number one, it now apparently takes advantage of the mods you have on your Sentinel's weapon and second of all, it needs to have priority over Swift Death, so you need to put it in first. Because there's a priority system that Sentinels use and it goes left to right, then it jumps down and goes left to right again, so your Sentinel will always try to use this mod first, then it tries the next one, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one, then it jumps down and tries this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, and this is the final mod your Sentinel will try to use. So if you want your Sentinel to actually use Vaporize, you need to put it before Swift Death, otherwise your Sentinel will always prioritize Swift Death and use its weapon instead of using Vaporize, whereas if you do this and you put Vaporize first, it will always use Vaporize whenever it's off cooldown. Now even though the Death is a damage sentinel, I still went for pure utility because it's what I think sentinels are good at, so I'm running swift death so the sentinel actually attacks with its weapon, then I decided to go with synth fiber which gives the sentinel a little bit of extra armor whenever I pick up a health orb which is quite nice for defense, and synth deconstruct which makes it so that whenever the sentinel assists in a kill the enemy has a higher chance of dropping a health orb. But the actual like real reason why I have these two here is because of the sit bonus that applies to you your Warframe, because what this does with two mods is it reloads 10% of your primary and secondary magazine whenever you have those weapons holstered. And this works really well with the new melee system, because as soon as you start running low on primary or secondary ammo, you simply melee attack, which holsters the weapon and starts reloading it automatically. Then I'm running Primed Animal Instinct, which is a mod that I simply cannot live without anymore, the loot radar and the enemy radar are simply too good for farming and generally just playing the game, and then I'm also running Energy Generator, which while not like amazing, especially not now days because there are so many different ways of generating energy, it's still nice to get an energy orb every now and then. Then, since I want to keep my Sentinel alive for as long as possible, I am running Primed Regen, and by the way, you don't have to max this out, because you get 3 revives if you bring it to 1 rank from the top, and the only thing the final rank gives you is 5% extra health when the Sentinel regenerates. And when it does regenerate, it also makes it invulnerable for a little bit, so this basically just improves the lifespan of the Sentinel, especially in higher level missions. Then I added even more defense with Metal Fiber for extra armor and Enhanced Vitality for extra health and this unbuffed with Synth Fiber brings the Sentinel up to 315 armor and 960 health, which is not too shabby. Then there was sort of a freebie slot and I decided to fill that in with Coolant Leak, which I really like. This used to be horrendously buggy and it used to just glitch bosses, but now it works just fine and what it does is it creates a 3 meter aura around the Sentinel that slows everything down by 10%. And the final mod is of course the Almighty Vacuum, which makes the Sentinel vacuum loot to us. And the reason, by the way, that I'm not using Sacrifice, which makes the Sentinel sacrifice itself and revive you, which works really well with Prime Region, is because I run really tanky frames that just don't die. So I don't need it. Moving on to the Death Machine Rifle Prime, where I once again went for pure utility with a ton of status for condition overload or, you know, just the status effects on their own, as well as some stat stick functionality with the Vigilante mods. So the mods I went for are Split Chamber, this is here just because it increases status chance, which is very important since the Death Machine Rifle Prime doesn't have a ton of status, which kind of makes it not great for this kind of utility. Then I have all four of the dual stat mods, and in this case I have high voltage and thermite rounds for radiation and rhyme rounds with malignant force for viral. Though if you do tend to run these effects on your weapons normally, you can easily switch it out for corrosive and blast, or even magnetic and gas if you want to. And then I have vigilante fervor, which adds fire rate, vigilante supplies, which adds ammo mutation, and vigilante armaments for even more multi-shots, so more status chance. 
And while these are a little bit more useful than the synth mods I'm actually running on my death cube, they're still here mainly because of the set bonus they provide to you and your primary weapon, because with these three mods alone, you will have a 15% chance to sort of over crit with your primary weapon. So if you were to not crit at all, you will instead yellow crit. If you were to yellow crit, you will instead orange crit and so on and so on and so on. Now, to be entirely honest here, I wasn't too interested in death cube prime. I was kind of interested in death machine rifle prime because it fires really fast and it can actually do damage if you build for it, especially if you put in some crit as well and you maybe even get a ribbon. And it's because of one thing. Sentinels cannot be revived, like Kubros, Kavats, the Humming Charger, or even Moas. And that's a huge downside, because basically no matter what you do, your Sentinel is eventually gonna get destroyed by like a straight bombard rocket or a napalm field. And that's it, it's gone, and you lose all the utility that you have on it, whereas if you have a MOA, which also have great utility, you can just revive it. And it's even worse for the death cube because it's the damage sentinel, and we have more than enough damage as it is, right? Back in the day, yeah? It was actually kind of appealing to have Death Cube. It was the first Sentinel that I got personally because I was like, oh yeah, more damage, you know, when we didn't have all the damage in the world, but nowadays we do. So kind of the only reason to use Death Cube now is for the energy generator, which isn't that great either because as I've said already, we also have plenty of ways to generate energy now. So for me personally, the Death Cube Prime unfortunately falls into the mastery folder category because I just don't see a good reason to use it over other companions. And that is pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.